Okay, this is the Oppi Multipurpose Blu-ray player. It's a high-end machine. It was six years ago, it was about a th just over a thousand dollars. Um, it is. It has got some very nice bits in it. That's one of the power supplies there. So if you come over here, there's a Rotel, and Rotel make high-end audio equipment similar to what NAD would. And that board there is what they call the DAC, and apparently a very good one at that, which is a digital to analog converter. That's the drive. I don't know yet what that is. I'm going to guess Sony or Panasonic. I could be wrong. And I've, I've heard that Cambridge Audio may be the manufacturer of this particular DAC, which is interesting. Now, Oppo was formed by a Chinese American. Um, so it's actually an American company. It's assembled in China. Most of the parts are from other high end manufacturers, but they do their own electronics as well. It's a very unusual machine. I bought this back from Sydney and it is a beast. It weighs half as much as my NAD amplifier, which is 36 pounds. This thing weighs 16 pounds. It's a Blu-ray player. What? <laughs> it's built like the proverbial brick shithouse. Now, something of this quality, quality should not have failed. It should have went for 20 years without a problem. It'll be something stupid. Now, I'll show you what I've seen. So far, I pop the hood. Now this is the hood. See those marks here? That's sort of a, it's almost a photograph of something that's under heat stress. It's actually not soot. It's what they call degassing. It's the degassing of the anodized finish on the heat sinks. See those heat sinks? I can't point to it. I'll put the down torch down. See that thing there with the fins? There's one there, one on that, that one there, and there's one there. It matches that. They're uh, voltage regulators. So it's just the degassing of the anodized finish. Why would you put anodized finish on it? Um, but that's normal. That's quite normal. That's over six years, it's what they call degassing. The, the plastics do it, all sorts of things do it, car, upholstery, everything. The electrolytic capacitors are gorgeous. There doesn't seem to be any. See at the top of these electrodes, you see an X, and the top of it is slightly concave. If it was was it convex or bubbling up? That means there's been pressure in it. And those crosses are weakness points to allow it to blow, blow through, you know, to uh, well, explode through there instead of go, it goes bang instead of boom, you know what I mean? There's a vent underneath. There is no leakage that is just, that stuff there is just glue to keep them there. They're made by Elmer, they're very posh. Very posh, very posh putty parts in this, and those pink things down there, they're like what I would call military grade capacitors. They've, they've spent a lot of money on this. See that? The front of that? See? That's just a solid aluminium. Get, it's it's kind of reminds me of nineteen seventies when Marantz and NAD and um, oh, Hitachi used to build 
things like this. You could stand on, jump up and down on top of it, tuck it in, it's the word. Remember Ziggy's just came with a gigantic crown amplifier, it's about 165 watts of solar. And it was huge, running into a pair of 15 inch horn loaded JBL speakers. Wow, they were good. Whatever happened to the disco day? It's because I geeked out. Can I have a look at your electric shit? <laughs> Geek. Yeah, Oppo. It's an unusual name. I wonder where the name comes from. It's probably initials or something. All I know, he was a Chinese American. That's all I know. The drive, I've never seen a drive quite so sexy and enclosed like that. See how the Rotel, that's a Toradial transformer that's got a cover on it to stop any radiation getting out. Now, when I first turn this thing on, I can hear a real like a pink in here. And then at, every now and again, I hear it pink over here. I'm not sure what's going on. I have no uh, diagram of the circuitry, so I'm just going to have to get a pattern and have a look. I'm going to have to take the DA converter, DA, the DAC off, take that plate off of there, and I'll be back. That's the Vista. Okay, after many, many screws, the DAC's out, which I think that is actually the analog section that outputs to see the plugs at the back. Beautifully built, isn't it? Beautifully. Yeah, then I could get to this. Now, this is the main power board. And I have spotted it straight away. Always look for the heat sinks with capacitors next to them because that will dry them out. Can you pick them? Can you see what I'm trying to say? Spot the difference. They should be con concave. Okay, concave. Where did the torch is drowning this out, I don't know. You see those two heat sinks there? I don't know if the, I'm not sure if the regulators or bridge tires or bridge rate. Um yeah, see the one Okay, it's not an easy thing to do, is it? 